Hello and welcome everyone to the 2018 Glass Blown Open course preview video for the new and improved Emporia Country Club. The Country Club has undergone some changes this year, so let's kick it off on hole one. Hole one at the Country Club is a brand new hole and an 1100 foot beast of a par five to start your round. This hole is essentially holes six and seven from last year combined into one monster hole. The road along the right side and sidewalk left are the OB markers to worry about. Off the tee, the play is to get as much straight line distance as possible, then from the fairway get as much distance as possible again. The keys to your first two shots are getting big distance while staying in bounds. The golf green is OB, so be sure your approach shot doesn't miss short or left. The Eagle 3 is in play for the biggest arms, but 4 is going to be a very common score on this opening hole. Hole 2 plays the same as old hole 8, but the basket has been moved further back to make this a truly challenging 700 plus foot par 4. The tee shot needs to miss the tree in the middle and come up right of the OB golf fairway. The second shot is where things change up. Rather than the basket being tucked in the cluster of trees, you now have to carry uphill and push past those trees to give yourself a birdie putt. Hole 3 is exactly the same as old hole 9, playing 430 feet downhill this tee shot is one of the more technical shots on the course. There are a few gaps to hit, so pick yours, but make sure you hit it. While the fairway is slightly downhill, this place is a long and difficult par three, so expect to see more threes than birdie twos on this one. Four is another hole that hasn't changed. It plays exactly the same as old hole 10. 402 feet, slightly downhill, this will be a backhand hyzer for most all of the open men. The sand trap right and the sidewalk left are OB, so accuracy is very important, but this is one of the easier to attack holes at Country Club. Hole 5 plays identical to old hole 3 and is far and away the hardest par 4 on the course. The hole plays 681 feet and has OB on all sides that pinches the closer you get to the basket. The sidewalk on the right and golf fairway on the left line the OB. The further left and right your drive lands, the more open your second shot will be. After your tee shot, you have to get around a large grouping of trees and land in the tight green. Distance is key off the tee, but accuracy is critical on the approach. Birdieing hole 5 will surely gain you a stroke on the majority of the field. Hole 6 is another renumbered old hole and another very attack friendly hole. 324 feet uphill without too much OB to worry about, this is a birdie the MPO players will want to get. Stay out of the sand bunker short make your putt, and move out of here with a birdie too. Hole 7 is one of the easier par 4s on the course. At 659 feet downhill, off the tee, we're going to see some huge, huge drives. There is OB left and right, but it's wide enough to really open up on your drive. Miss the tree on the right and stay out of the trees on the left, and you'll have a nice open approach to the green. There are some trees near the green to battle, but clear those and you'll be in great position to get your birdie 3. Everyone should be familiar with hole 8, as it's the same as old hole 1. 555 feet downhill with pinching OB from both sides. The common play will be a backhand hyzer up and over the trees, leaving a circle 2 putt. The big arms can get closer to circle 1, but the OB tightens the closer you get to the basket. There's no shame in a par on hole 8, but a birdie does feel really good. Hole 9 plays the same as old hole 2. 549 foot par 4 with OB left and right. The tee shot plays over a crest in the hill, so you're forced to trust your disc to hold straight until it lands. The fairway slopes left the whole way, so anything coming in on the wrong angle will almost surely skip OB. Throw your nice, easy approach close for a birdie 3 opportunity. Hole 10 is another new-ish hole. It plays the same as old hole 11, but the basket is tucked further back and right into the trees, making this a true par 4. A good tee shot is a long turnover that penetrates deep and right down the fairway leaving a simple pitch up to the basket. The basket is in the open but an approach that goes deep can get caught up in the trees and leave a really tough putt. Hole 11 is the same as old hole 12, 364 feet on a slight turnover that you want to come out just a touch at the very end. Because it's a little downhill you're going to see a lot of hyzer flips with mids and fairway drivers depending on the wind. This hole is at an awkward angle, so there's no shame with a par, but it feels like a birdie you really should get. Hole 12 is a brand new hole this year and plays 351 feet to an island green. The island is defined by the cart path and the OB golf fairway. A backhand hyzer with something slightly overstable is going to give the best results here. This is going to be another gotta get birdie for those competing at the very top level. The infamous hole 13 that has cost so many people a great round or tournament. Hole 13 is still 371 feet uphill with OB all along the right side, but don't get scared. 
the T-pad has been moved off the cart path to ever so slightly take the OB less in play. The OB is very much still there, and it takes a big drive to reach the basket, but accuracy is also critical, especially in wins if you want to avoid taking a really high score. Hole 14 is one of the few holes that experienced no changes at all. The 766 foot par 4 still plays downhill with OB along the right hand side. There is also OB left, but it's pretty far so it shouldn't come into play. Off the tee, you need to split a few trees and commit to your shot, either a hyzer, straight shot, or a turnover are all in play. Your second shot is going to depend on your first shot. If you took the hyzer, you'll have another hyzer, and, and same goes for the turnover. Stay out of the OB green left on your approach, and avoid being behind the large tree in front of the basket to give yourself a look at birdie 3. This is a difficult par 4, so not birdieing is okay, but you need to stay inbounds and avoid taking a bogey. Hole 15 was also untouched this year and still plays the same 426 foot island par 3. The play most people are going to take is the big backhand hyzer that crashes through the trees and sticks next to the basket. For the top level golfers, this is another hole where you'll really be kicking yourself if you don't convert on the birdie. We've made it. The famous island hole 16 at Emporia Country Club. 365 feet to an island green, this risk reward hole can really make or break your round. Running the green requires a perfectly placed drive with touch to settle on the tiny island. There's also a layup zone to the right for those looking to play it safe and simply pitch up for their par 3. The island is very tiny so after laying up it's no gimme approach and the pressure of playing safe and still going to the drop zone looms. The drop zone is on the edge of the landing zone closest to the island so a simple jump putt from there will get you safe onto the island. There are going to be a few twos, a bunch of threes, and a lot of fours on this hole during the 2018 GBO. Hole 17 tees the same as in the past, but instead of a long par 5, it now plays as a somewhat more manageable 530 foot par 4. Playing to the right of where old hole 17 used to dogleg to the left, this is no joke of a two shot par 4. From the tee, you have a hyzer to go out and around all the trees, or you can go for more distance up the gut and risk being stuck in those trees. If you clear the trees on your drive, you'll have a much more open approach to the basket to give yourself that birdie 3 look. The final hole at Emporia Country Club is 858 feet and every last bit of a par 4. The tee shot needs to carry around 300 feet of water, then land safely in the island fairway. OB drives will proceed to the drop zone. Once in the fairway, you'll be required to throw another power shot to get up the hill and have any hope of a birdie putt. The slope of the green can cause serious rollaways, so you need power to get to the basket, but touch is necessary to stay near the basket. Unless it's the final round, I wouldn't be surprised to see circle two putts laid up on this hole strictly because of the ground angle. Par is a good score on this hole, and a birdie three almost feels like an eagle. And that is the layout for Emporia Country Club at the 2018 Glassblown Open.